Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on this lovely Saturday evening. Ultimate Ease Retro GP Battle of the Series. This is the second week. We've, some, we've seen some exciting racing in the first week. From Zanboot and Estoril, we now head to Nola and Sepang in two more iconic cars of that era. We are in the BT44 today, driven by Carlos Reitman, for the Retro GP Battle of the Cities. As always, I'm joined alongside Aditya Patel, who's going to be with me and take you through this race as well. This is going to be a cracker to watch, Aditya, because as always, week two, things could not get any closer when it comes to the championship standings of this Battle of the Cities. Absolutely. Thank you, Anjan. Um, again, great to be here watching these races. You know, last week threw up some super surprises, especially Sunday's race, you know, when they raced uh, Senna's MP48 car. That was one of the best races I've ever seen, be it in a video game or be it in real life. <laughs> I have not seen a race like that. And I'm really looking forward to what this Brabham BT44 has in store for us. You know, a lot of drivers drove this car and they said it's one of the more exciting cars they've driven. It keeps them on their toes all the time. And I'm pretty sure the racing on this particular circuit, the NOLA circuit, is going to be extra exciting because of the kind of corners it's got. Absolutely, because we're at NOLA in New York, in, in USA, in Louisiana. This is such an exciting track, uh, track Aditya, because only because of its the, the way the track is. It's a narrow, it's a narrow short track. It's only a four-kilometer track. It's, it's, it's really exciting because of the corners, like you mentioned, because it, it's not just one, two corners. You can overtake pretty much at every single corner on this track. Like Altia had mentioned, we, had, we saw some really exciting racing last week out and we can't wait this week's racing. But just to take you guys very quickly through uh, what, we, what we're going to be what we're going to be up to this evening. We're going to be starting off with the R Factor Series, the G Ultimate E GP Battle, Retro GP Battle of the Series. We're going to have two races, qualifying for 10 minutes and a race for 10 minutes, uh, or 10 laps rather. And both races would follow the same. So we finish race one, go into 10 minute qualifying and then go into another race again. Uh, we're right now on. We're at the moment. We're seven minutes. We're three minutes into the first qualifying for the first race. So we're very, very early on. We have Bangalore, Chennai, Delhi, Hyderabad, Mumbai, and Pune representing us today. This is going to be a cracker, ladies and gentlemen. For Bangalore, we have Amit Kuti, Rohan Shankar, Vikash Anand, Chennai, Narayan Kartikeyan, and Sai Sanjay, Kartik Tarni, Delhi, Sohail Shah, Najib Ahmed, and Lee Keshav, who's replacing Abhilash Ankuri. Hyderabad, they have Vishnu Prasad, Chetan Surne. Kenny and Jetan Kurana replacing Kenneth. Uh, for Mumbai, we have Adit Deodar, Vish Vishwas Vijayaraj, Ritesh Rai. For Pune, we have Oshan Kotadia, Arman Ibrahim replacing Siddharth Medirata and Avinash Gupta. This is going to be such an exciting one to watch because they're so close, like we mentioned in the championships. Coming into this coming into this weekend, Altia, after week one, we now have Sai Sanjay leading the championship 68 points, followed by Amit Kuti in 62 points, followed by Kartik Tarni in third by 53, and Adva Deodar in fourth with 51 points. This cannot get any closer right up there. Yeah, it's going to be great. You know, Sai uh, last week put up some very consistent performances along with Kartik Tarni, but you know, Karthik got involved in a lot of incidents, although he was always up there fighting with Sai. But it just shows that, you know, Sai kept his nose clean and he was able to uh, get up at top of the championship. And in, in practice on this particular circuit, we've been seeing Amit Kuti again, just really, really quick. Um, but Sai and Gang are not too far behind and Narain has been really quick as well in practice, including Vishnu Prasad. So, you know, in many ways, it's the usual suspects. but. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see some uh, moves coming by Arman and uh, the rest of the pack, Rohan Shankar as well. You know, these guys have always surprised us and uh, Arman's been practicing a lot. He's been telling Sorry. us how I mean, Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because, you know, last time out, we saw the Chennai boys that were inseparable all weekend long. So I'm looking forward to seeing something very similar between Sai Sanjay and Karthik Tarni this time around. Um, because they've only got about 10, 13 points between them. So apart from Eating the team team championships, they've got an individual battle on their hands this weekend. Um, so let's see what they could do. Let's see what these guys could do. Of course, they've got Amit Kuti right in between the two of them in second place in the championships right now. It's very close between the top three. Uh, but jumping right back and qualifying, Aditya, we've got five minutes to go for Q1. Uh, we're in the we're in we're in Nola. We're in the USA with the Brabham BT Forty Fours. Uh, at present, we're following Arman Ibrahim around with a 158 and odd right now. So we know, like I said, he's been practicing a lot. Uh, but Arthur, your, your partner and co-founder, this is going to be really, really exciting to watch. For sure, you know, he's been practicing, like I said, and 
obviously he hasn't said a proper time yet these guys uh, are the guys at the same right time you know we've also been having a little bit of connectivity issues and tech tech problems so uh, we might be going on the blip on and off a little bit but uh, that being said I'm just waiting for Arthur to come back oh, I'm pretty sure he's right there with us uh, but yeah so we we're, we're right now in Nola this is going to be a cracker to watch we've still got a couple of races to go we've got 4 minutes 20 seconds into qualifying we're on board right now Arman who's setting a personal best in his first sector so I'm pretty sure he's going to be a lot lot quicker coming around uh but we you know once he gets through this we still got uh, Darren Karthik now puts himself up in the second place so that's a cracker to watch right now so I think this is going to be um this is this is going to be super to watch uh, at the moment but you know that being said we still got two races for today we're only in qualifying uh one at the moment so we still got it's going to be a 10 minute qualifying so these guys are going to sort themselves out but like guys like we've seen time and time again it never is it's never ever the top guys who come out of the first corner uh we've got up and down on this a couple of times we've seen this in the races i don't really think it matters where you guys where where people qualify on this grid because we have people coming up from 10th place who by t1 was in first place uh last time down in estoril because that was really and zanvoot as well uh, and that was on corner picked up so many so many experiences but so this is going to be a, i think this is this is an infant absolute cracker and of course followed by the retro gp we go on a second championship that we've been running through which is the gt championships that we've got so this is going to be something we've got we're going to look forward to and watch as well so join us for that at 9 pm do not worry we have a long long evening ahead of racing for us two races here two races there and of course the gt will be the championship decider and we do have patrick the mission blazon with us so jumping back on board we now have uh we're now back on board with uh, retro gp the battle of the cities this is week 2 so ladies and gentlemen if you're just joining us we have 9 minutes to go for qualifying uh, this is going to be a nice one to watch because we've just finished two weekends in zanvoot and estoril last week out which was a cracker to watch because we had so many exciting races all the way up and down the field and the one at estoril like uh, like like uh arthur was saying a little earlier was such a cracker it was such a brilliant race to watch because Finish so so so. They finish so finish so close to each other. Uh, so yeah. So we've just restarted qualifying again. Um, so we've got nine minutes because we had a couple of guys um, having issues getting onto the server, but they're all all up and running. We're all here. We're riding on board now. Vikash Anand on his outlap. You can see these guys on their outlap pushing quite hard. And well, ladies and gentlemen, while the circuit is relatively new in 2015, we are racing very very old cars. Racing BT 44s, which is the Brabham 44s. Uh, this was made famous by Carlos Reutemann, who's one of the famous guys who drove this car back in the 1975. So uh, iconic, and following in line with our entire retro GP team of the entire weekend. That's what we're going to be seeing. And of course, tomorrow we've got two more races, which will decide the championship. We get to another iconic circuit with Tapang, one of my favorite tracks on the calendar, and one one of my favorite cars, the MP 413. Think me, Hakkinen's car. I mean. Who does not like those? Who does not remember battles between Hakkinen and Schumacher, Hakkinen and Kulsar, and the guys completely taking it to their own? Um, so yeah, I think um, that's, that's exactly what we've got. So um, I think we've got Aditya with me as well. So we're right now on board uh, yeah, with yeah, Amit Kuti. Uh, Perfect. Technical issues from earlier, but um, we, yeah, uh, we're on board now with Amit Kuti, and we've seen how quick Amit has been right through this entire series. You know. But he's been uh, facing some stiff competition from Sai Sanjay and Vishnu Prasad and the likes of those guys. So it's not going to be easy for a young gamer like this who's not so used to soaking up pressure from uh, from real racing situations. Unlike Sai and uh, Arman and uh, Karthik and, and the rest of the guys, really, most of this field is a bunch of race drivers who are used to soaking up pressure. It's going to be tough for Amit. It always has been, but you know that's what really impresses me about this youngster. No matter what we throw at him. He just goes out there and he does the job, and he's been extremely good every time, every car, every circuit. As you're saying that, he just purpled his first sector, so we know exactly what we what we're watching. Because, um, Altia, we've been watching him like you said, week in and week out, with different machinery, different equipment. It really doesn't matter what he throws at him, because his talent is really, really good, and I really like it. Because he's a young kid who's just signed a deal with you guys and NK Racing. which gives him that opportunity to go out in the real world and race. So you know what you guys are doing with this is actually quite cool because you see you you are able to find e-sports and sim racing talent and convert them into real world talent. So take us through those plans out of there. Oh uh, well that's the whole point behind doing this you know apart from obviously entertaining all you guys who are watching uh we want to promote the young talent the youngsters who have been uh, into sim racing over the last few years but 
never really had the opportunity to take it forward you know when you jump into a sport like this um, there is an investment involved you know guys like this are buying steering wheels uh, they are buying good kits to be able to put give their best performance and it has to take them somewhere and i'm sure they wanted to take them somewhere and i think this is where we step in to give them the opportunity to not just prove themselves in the real world but also in the sports world as well you know not just in india but worldwide now we're seeing all these guys prove themselves in india but over the years to come over the months to come we're going to see guys like amit kuti uh, participating in championships uh, around the world you know starting with asia europe etc we already have the indo ceylon championship which uh, you guys are going to see the viewers you all are going to see this after this at 9 o'clock and that's basically a race between uh, the indians and the sri lankans so just by expanding slowly we want to give these youngsters an opportunity to be seen around the world and also not just to be sitting and racing against computer generated op- uh, opponents but also be racing against the best in the world absolutely because that's exactly what you said i mean we you guys have done this before and it's great to see clubs like the cmsc which is the colombo motorsports club the fmsci which is the federation of motorsports clubs of india all come together to you know to embrace this new way the world is changing them embrace the way uh, we're going racing today because this is the only way at this point in time and that being said we jump right back into qualifying at 5 minutes to go we're on board with your partner arman in this black little luxury mall car uh, it's a great little car to see that he likes driving he's around this circuit he's driving the brabham car by charles whiteman and he's also got the luxury mills uh, livery on which kind of really brings back memories from racing back in the day you know when karyawardan was racing a, a car that it didn't look very different to this actually and no, it looks great to see this i see this in pictures from my dad's old racing album And this is exactly what these cars look like cuz I remember watching these guys I remember watching I think your dad his dad everyone back in the early 90s when you guys used to be, when they used to used to race on Sholabaram in Madras used to be exciting to watch and here they are kids racing and organizing stuff as well so thank you guys for bringing motorsport to the masses cuz it's really really interesting to watch now 4 4 minutes and 4 4 minutes 20 seconds and all left for qualifying to go uh, we're following Arman who's up to right now in ninth place at this moment just at a 1334 so he can improve a bit he's done two personal best in his last two sectors so of course he's going to improve but Narayan Kartikeya now seems to be on a stonker because he's he's right now the timing shows he's going to be up in the fourth place but i think we'd let's just follow him around because as we're coming into these couple of last couple of corners before he starts up again big cracker award so uh with him i mean i think with Narayan i mean of course the amount he's done for the mot- amount he's done for indian motor sport representing us in formula 1 putting us on the world stage it's great to have someone like him on board uh and some of these guys can actually look up to because ladies and gentlemen make no mistake he's an ex formula 1 driver and getting to formula 1 is absolutely no joke you got to be at the top of the game and that's exactly where narain is um but coming back we still got i think right now amit kuti in first place but vishnu prasad very very close behind him three tenths off the pace so you know vishnu has been throwing a lot of amit kuti over amit kuti over the last couple of weekends and he's been chipping away and of course he's been getting closer and closer ooh and then we see narain going for a spin just as we talking about it just as we talked about him don't want to put anything more on him uh, but yeah i think that is what plays the commentators guys yeah i want to say much so shol sana on this place with the gap between fifth and uh, first now are there only one second between these guys and you know and and we are we're not seeing really the times below fifth uh, there's a lot of guys who are really really quick down there think, we just saw Karthik Sai Sanjay for a little bit Sai Sanjay has just showed up which has dropped Narain down to sixth uh, Rohan Shankar has just moved up so now all these guys are within less than a second right now the top 5 and they're going to get quicker we still have a couple of laps left in this qualifying session but again oh. it's Amit setting the pace Vishnu is getting closer and closer he's 3 tenths off but um it's going to be interesting to see what really happens with 3 minutes to go all these guys really save it for the end because uh, the fuel is is being consumed the cars are getting lighter of course the tire wear is on so you know it's going to get harder as the session goes on but uh, the more practice the more laps these guys get in um the faster they're going to be we're seeing now narain is in 6 kartik tarani in 7 followed by oshan kotadia in 8 and uh, sorry oshan kotadia in 9 and uh, um, arman actually in 10 i think arman the top 10 Top ten now is it within less than a second? The top yep, 10? it's a second. It's exactly 1.0 seconds ahead. Uh, yeah, I think it's, 1. it's 1. 1. one second to the top five and another the, one second uh, to ten. The top ten, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think Arman's still going quicker, like you said, because he's putting another personal best in the first sector. That's great to see. He's going to move him up, keep him, or keep him rather than the in tenth place at the moment. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us, we're in qualifying one. We're at Nola with the Brabham. 
T44s for Ultimate Ease Retro GP Back to the Cities. This is week two. We have two races. The championship right now very, very close between Chennai uh, and Bangalore because we have Amit Kuti right now with 62 points in second place. Sai Sanjay with 68 points in first and Kartik with 53 points in third with Advait Deodhar and 51 points in fourth place. So the championship right now is wide, wide open. I'm really looking forward to watching these guys in action because it was like, it was an absolute, uh, it was superb watching them last time around. We were so excited. We couldn't talk for a long time after the race. Uh, but we're going to have a 10 minute race after we finish the last minute of qualifying with this series guys now on their hot laps because now we have Karthik Tarni coming back up in the second place followed by Vishnu Prasad, Advit Deodhar and Sai Sanjay so all the protagonists that we mentioned Atya earlier the top four of our championships sitting right there in the top four of our uh, timing screens and what's interesting is Amit's going purple 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 and all these racing drivers India's best racing drivers India's top racing drivers are chasing Amit down and Amit is just a gamer you know that's what really makes this great to watch that's exactly that's exactly what I think. That's exactly the thing why we were like watching this so much because Kartik Tarni now Amit Kuti has almost put a half a second, no, almost a second almost ahead of Kartik Tarni. Stonker, what a lap he's put in he with 20 almost, seconds to go. Uh, he almost broke the one minute 30 second barrier. You know, he had two purple sectors and he made a mistake in the last sector and he just missed taking that barrier. We we haven't seen him. We haven't seen anyone come this close that time all through practice. And this is the last four seconds of qualifying. Of course, Amit's put in an absolute anchor of a lap. But I think there we go. The checkered flag is now dropped, and these guys on there they are on their last laps. They are on they are on flyers at the moment. So we see it now. Amit Kuti is going to get a tour from Karthik Rani when he goes down that straight again. Now Alpya, he's lined him up. I think he's time the perfection of his final flyer. He has lined him up trying to get a final flyer, but again, he's almost a second up on Karthik. But that's the attitude he's got. He just wants to go faster and faster. He knows exactly how fast he is compared to the rest. To the rest. But just watch him using every inch of the circuit there. It's superb to watch, really. I would love to go on board with him again on this last lap. You see how he's reeling Karthik in, actually. Yeah, he's, he's reeling it right, I think. Now he's I think Karthik's seen him behind and said, that's enough. I don't I don't think you're not going to take another second out of me. Uh, I don't think he's just slowed down in the back over there. But this is going to be, yeah. Oh, they both go. Ooh, it's a nice wide line they both take down that straight. Uh, we're coming across the line. Let's say that. I'm putting purple in the middle sector again. So I know when he comes across the line, uh, what will he do? Yep. There we go. I'll, uh, he's just gone quicker. He, he's, just he's now put a clear second between. He's put a clear second now between him and Karthik Tani uh, in second place because he's purple in the middle sector and gone even quicker. And personal best is uh, last sector. So guys, I mean, yeah, this is oh my god, this is this, is, this has been. This is such a close qualifying because, like we said, the same protagonist that we had, the same exact protagonist that we had, which is um, Amit Kuti, Karthik Tani, Vishnu Prasad, Advit Deodhar. And Sai Sanjay, of course, in fifth place. These are the top five of our championship standings, ladies and gentlemen. Rohan Shankar right behind them in sixth place is right there as well. Narayan Karthikan in seventh. Sohil Shah in eighth place. Oshan Kotadia in ninth. And Arman running off the top ten. Uh, I'm just going to bring him in very, very quickly here. So, um, Arman, welcome. How does it feel back in the top ten for the old man? Uh, I mean, I... I'm a lot slower than what I did in practice, and no, Aditya, I haven't been doing a lot of laps. I only got on the sim this evening, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> a lot less than uh, my competitors to say. But uh, no, it's a lot of fun. I think the race is going to be a lot closer. Uh, again, getting the grips with these cars and qualifying, as you can comment to in, in qualifying, uh, just that much better on the feel of it. But uh, no, I'm really looking forward to the race. I think for these cars. Just you know, just staying out of trouble and being consistent, I think you can really get a good result. Yeah, we're really looking forward to that, Arman, and uh, it's good to see you on the grid. I know you've been trying hard to beat a bunch of these guys to get ahead of them, but uh, not that easy, isn't it? No, I just... Uh, <laughs> he said he got on only this it's, evening, Yeah, it's, 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 not, it's not easy to work. And I realize that your practice is uh, completely on the top being on the string uh, until 5.30pm today. So, uh, I need to spend more time than I need to tomorrow, but then, you know, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Anyway, I think the cars are now getting ready on the grid. Um, 
again it's going to be a great race to watch to have amit and pol karthik in second and i really hope karthik doesn't make mistakes like he did the last time because he was in such a good position to score good points every single race but something or the other would happen every time I mean, the, the mistakes he made were his. I mean, that's the that's the only thing I could say at that point in time because he went into quite a few people. And, and he's lucky he got away with no penalties last time out. But that being said, Alitya, I think we're almost set to go racing. We've got Ahmed Kuti on pole. That last lap he put in, or the la- there was a, a, a yeah, pretty much an entire second ahead of Pakistan. So he does have the pace on this track. So let's see what his race pace uh, would be like. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have Ahmed Kuti for race one at Nola in the Brabham BT 44s. Uh, for, for ultimate is retro gp battle of the cities this is the all star weekend uh, and we have other there that of course in i mean uh, other there that who's always going to be around there armar in, in 10th place narayan starting in the midfield as well so i can't wait to watch the lights go out uh, but here we go vikash arun of course uh, that's not getting the starting order i think there's something going on at the back end so we'll get straight back into it um, but there we go the verizon indica sees the green flag is going to drop as it says in the track and we're almost off and there we go the green flag drops and they're off Amit Kuri what a superb start by him for very very closely by Vishnu Prasad by is that Prasad by Kartik Tarni they're both neck and neck down the strip but I think Kartik Tarni now has caught a little bit of the inside line Amit Kuri a little oh, they're both taking each other out and right behind them 3, 4, 5 which is uh, Kartik which is Amit Kuri oh oh by Sanjay oh all taking them out they were still like going neck and neck between Kartik Tarni and Amit Kuti. Oh, and the back is absolute oh, carnage with oh, cars back. flying everywhere at the back. Uh, I have a feeling the stewards are going to call for a restart, but Kartik Tarni does take the lead ahead of Amit Kuti. Uh, Amit Kuti, uh, yeah, Amit Kuti fighting right back now with Kartik Tarni, and I think everybody else behind uh, seems to be sorting themselves out right now. What a start that was, Amit Kuti. That was an insane start and then a lot of guys there, we see a full course yellow and I think we're going to also see the safety car. Um, this is basically just going to allow everybody to bunch up once again, but a, a lot of losers in that entire chaos there. But, uh, but a lot of guys who gained as well, so every loser there's somebody who gained. So, uh, you see Naren who's moved his way up to third. Naren's moved up into third uh, place, yeah. So he's going to be pretty happy about that. Adman's up in the seventh with Chetan also, Karada, you know, Chetan Karada also in. Uh, sixth place. All these guys. I mean, where, where's Sai Sanjay? He's dropped back in the 11th place. Vishnu Prasad now in 12th place. Adwit in 10th place. So they've all gotten caught up in that big, big uh, mess that tangled dangle with each other. But yeah, I think there we go. We've still got full course yellow, ladies and gentlemen. It's like a virtual safety car. These guys have to follow a certain. They have to stick to certain deltas as they're going around the track. There we go. We still have Amit Kuti leading with Karthik Tarni in second place, with Naren Karthikeyan in third, who's moved up all the way down from eighth place. Um, so we're waiting for them. Let's just see what happens because we're going to get uh, these guys are going to bunch up. The field's going to bunch up again. Everyone's going to settle down. Alatya, from that first lap and the chaos and carnage that we witnessed. Aha! I think we're going to we're, we're in for another breathtaker because Karthik is not going to let Amit breathe. He, he's seen he's seen him. He's followed him around for a, for a lap now and just wants to know. Uh, where he's going to pick a spot to overtake him and see if he not make any mistakes like he did the last time out. Yeah, then they were watching the positions right now and we see a lot of guys have gained out of this. A lot of guys have lost, obviously, but uh, out of the guys who have really gained, there's there's Chetan, there's Vishwas, there's Vikas and uh, NK. These guys yeah, have yeah. gained a lot. Arman has gained a bit as well. Rohan seems to have lost a little bit. Oshan is where he was. Adwait seems to have lost, but we're missing Sai and Vishnu. Now. I think Sa- so Sai and Vishnu are behind. Yep, then 11th and 12th at the moment, right behind uh, Advet. So they've all gotten tangled up. There we go. Uh, Sai and Vishnu, 11th and, and Sohil. Sai, Vishnu, Sohil were probably the biggest losers of that incident. Yep. Yep. And we got Chetan Surneni now in 14th place. So, as it stands, uh, Amit Kuti now for Amit Kuti right now leading this pack uh, for Bangalore. And since the championship is so close to them, he has Karthik Tarni for Chennai with what, Varen Karthik. What happened there? I think I saw, someone uh, just lose it. Some contact with Karthik and uh, Amit. Yeah, with Karthik and Amit right there. This is gone. This is like, yeah, and it's given. That given. I think it's going to allow Amit to actually get his, his come back and uh, get his position back. Yeah. Because yeah, Amit's gone back in the third floor. There we are. He's flying back down. There, there, we, are. there we have it. Yep. I think is that a little bit though. The stewards might take a look at that again because if Karthik Tarni's been up to a little bit of mischief, once again, he's not going to get away with it this time. Uh, but that being said, we're still following the safety car around. I think I think everyone's bunched up, but look, the grid's looking really great. These cars look absolutely stunning out there from these angles. 
Yeah, they look superb all together. You know, just like going around in formation, it, it looks superb. It looks like we're putting on a show, like a proper show, which is what we're actually doing. <laughs> which is what all these drivers are doing for you. You're watching the best race drivers in the country, and you're also watching some of the best gamers in the country. Hey, this, is, this, this takes me back to good old Goodwood. It looks like we're driving around with slowly exhibition cars, exhibition laps. But yeah, we're on board right now with Karthik Tarni. I think the safety car should pull in very, very soon. But you see him. See what Karthik Tarni is doing there, don't you, uh, Aditya? He's just showing him the nose. He's not. He's, he's, he's not really following him any longer. Uh, he's trying to see you. I think. Yeah, I think he's trying to go for it at some point. You know what he's doing? You do this normally in real life. Is um, you know normally when you're behind the safety car, you try and find some time to relax. You know, just follow the car in front of you. But every now and again, you find this one guy behind you. <coughs> he wants to just annoy you. He just wants to. And Karthik is doing just that. He wants to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Amit keeps his eyes on and, and it's, it's a great strategy, you know, because it kind of throws Amit off guard. Because now suddenly yep. Amit is like, "What is this guy up to? What is today? What?" And he's yep. got he's got Amit thinking, and um, and I think that's what Karthik's trying to do. He's trying to keep Amit thinking, "What's this guy going to do? Why is he doing this? What's happening?" And um, when the race starts, it may have Amit worrying a bit, but Amit, as far as we know, is cool as a cucumber. So it's going to really be interesting to see whether <laughs> uh, whether Karthik has caught him. Uh, Of God, there. I mean, that's exactly what, that's exactly what we're going to look at. Because I think, like we've seen, Amit, even with all the chaos behind him, we saw the way he that's he he had controlled the start, especially the way he treated Karthik around turn one, turn two, and going to turn three, held his line. And these guys were side by side at the beginning of the race for for all three corners until Amit came out ahead, uh, which I think was brilliant to watch because we know the kind of pace he's got. Of course, Larry and Karthik are now one of the big big gainers up in the third place. I can't wait to see what. He does from here because he can throw some surprises. Uh, Alta, with all the experience he has from these, uh, uh, with all the experience he has with these safety car starts. Yeah, I think it's going to be interesting to watch. Uh, One going to off, watch what Narendra does here, you know, because he's keeping an eye on the two guys in front of him who are really giving each other a lot of trouble, and he's watching. And I think Narendra already has a plan in mind. You know, he's he's been watching these guys. He knows where he has the advantage. He knows where he's quicker than them. And he's definitely going to take advantage of his strengths on this circuit. And and looking at the way Karthik and Amit have been fighting, Narin knows that's happening. So Narin's really going to make sure he takes advantage of that situation. Now Amit's really bunching them all up. Yep, uh, he knows. One lap to go. Actually, it says there. So maybe the safety car is going to be out for one more lap. Just keep an eye on Amit because he seems to be letting go a little bit. Yep. Up here, there we go. We're off racing again. And I think Amit gets an absolute flyer, but Karthik Karni right behind him with Narendra Karthik and and uh, Narendra Karthik and uh, and Vikas Anand right behind them as well. Narendra going to turn one. Ooh, all four of them go wide, but Amit could he still holding his line? Yeah, Vikas Karni has made a mistake as well. Yep, Vikas Anand up in the third place. Vikas Anand up in fourth. Oh, there you go, Karthik diving in for the lead. Super move there by Karthik actually. He just put his nose there and he made a mistake. He's going to hold him. Is he going to hold him around this? Yeah, he does hold him up. So Karthik Karni is holding up Amit Kuti for now. But Amit Kuti, he's got some crazy, crazy pace. So he's going to come back very hard at Karthik Karni unless Karthik Karni can and can pull in some qualifier laps right now and take that and, and open that gap a little bit, Alfia. That's what Karthik's going to do. But he knows Amit. It's very hard to open a gap with Amit behind, you know. But Karthik's going to use all his racing experience to make sure he doesn't make any mistakes. And to just make sure he can keep Amit at bay, but and that's what he's got to do for the next seven and a half minutes if he wants to win this race. But <laughs> we've seen last week how unpredictable it can be. Things can change any second, any minute. So it's just very important. Yeah, because as the doesn't make mistakes. I think as the tires also start going off towards the end of the race, ladies and gentlemen, this is like a seven minutes left to do for this race. So it is a ten-minute race that we have here. We're in, we're in about three minutes into this race, and it's already been. Thousand carnage in turn one in the first lap. We had a safety car out for about a minute and a half, and we've gone racing again. And at the start, we had Karthik Tarni hustle Amit Kuti around. He's taken that lead right now, but Amit Kuti is now coming right back at him. Alistair, he's flying, he's throwing everything at him. He's going to take him around the outside. I doubt he's going to make. He can make the stick for the last of the late breakers. Oh, he's right. Oh, he's, he's, right. he's very, right. very hard. He's again, Karthik's pulled off a Nico Rosberg. He's just absolutely he's just held his line. Said. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that was great to watch. He and held his again, line absolutely. You know he's going to. Watch, but... uh, Amit is going to do this again and again and again, and Karthik is going to pull out all that racing experience he's got uh, under his sleeve and make sure he can keep him at bay. 
that's exactly what we're hoping to watch because these guys are still half a second between each other. But right behind them, we have Vikas Anand and Rohan Shankar has made it back up into fourth place. So he seems to have made it up. He seems to have made a couple of places on that restart. With Vishnu Prasad again coming back up into fifth. So the guys who were dropped back and had a lot of problems with Vishnu Prasad and Sai Sanjay actually were back in what 11th and 12th when we started off, and they're back now in uh, fourth and fifth. So the, the guys who lost out uh, seems to show their class, seems to show their pace, and they're back up here now again. Yeah, they're coming back up, uh, and again we've seen this time and time again. It's Rohan Shankar who always comes back up somehow, no matter how. I don't know how he does it, but he does it, and Vishnu is following him. Um, it's only a matter of time before they get ahead of Vikash, and but I think these two they they clear up in front, and it's going to be a great battle to watch. I wonder where Sai Sanjay and Advit Deodhar are in this entire mix. Have they made? Have they been able to make places up? Uh, through this entire battle, through this thing, because I want to go further back and see what's happening. Because I think Adit Deodhar is still hurting down in 13th place, Sai Sanjay in 11th. And then Karthikeyan's mistake he made is now back down in 10th place. So that was a costly, costly mistake for him, Adit. Yeah, I mean, uh, but I'm just getting some word from Adit. Um, Adit actually seems to have some issues. He got kicked from the server. Probably something to do with the internet okay. connection. I'm just having a word with him as we speak, but. Uh, because the rest of these guys seem to be fine. Again, at the end of the race, we're going to have a word with all the drivers to see if everything was fine. Um, but again, it looks like Advet, Oshan Kotadia, and Ketan Surineni seem to have had some issues uh, with the server, with their connectivity. So we're just trying to see what exactly this issue is. Uh, that's rather unfortunate because, ladies and gentlemen, like we are relying on technology at the moment. So we do apologize that we've been. And lag bits and pieces of where our voices don't come through right on there, or all the video feed does stop for a couple of seconds. There we are. We think we're right back on board now with four minutes, four and a half minutes to go. Amit Kuti now four tenths behind Kartik Tarni. Kartik Tarni is driving with his elbows on, and a big battle between Vikas Anand and Vishnu Prasad for fourth and fifth place. Has Vishnu Prasad gone through on a meter? I don't know. I think Vikas Anand did go through. He's held it. Hell is now, but Vishnu Prasad is coming right back down at him. Is he gonna get him? Oh, not too much. All right now, Vishnu is gonna be a little more patient and should be able to get him. But here we go, Amit Kuti right now on his gearbox. Arthur, he's right there on his gearbox down the start finish straight. He's gonna get in the slipstream, see if he can do it. He's on the outside. He's got a much better drive out of that last corner. Just to be on the outside line, is he gonna get him? Oh, he's down made the, the switch. first corner. He's he made that move stick. He's dummy him. Come back on the inside. Making that move stick, what a move, Ahmed! What Kuti. a move he's made! Stick, but first corner, he's made his stick. But Karthik Tarni is coming right back at him, not letting him go at all. Because look at him around the outside. Is he going? Is Karthik Tarni going to do it? Oh, he's taking that deeper line. He's going to get much more attraction. Oh, he's bumped into him. He's pushing him now. What an unbelievable move by Ahmed! Karthik Tarni is going to get ahead really quickly. Oh, he's going to get it. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go, he's gonna make it stick. Yep, but that's very, very fair racing for the both of them. They've gone wheel to wheel with each other. Karthik has lost it! Karthik's lost it! He's trying to spin it. Is that gonna give Ron Shankar down third place? Because Ron Shankar now is coming up right behind him. But Amit Kuti's. Oh, that's lost in two seconds right there. He's made another mistake and we're riding on board right now with Ron Shankar. He's on Karthik Tarni's gearbox right behind him right now. Karthik Tarni, like you called it. Oh, the curse of the commentator should not have said anything back then because he was driving such a brilliant brilliant race. But Ron Shankar right now, right all over his gearbox. Ron Shankar goes a bit wide. That's going to give Karthik Tarni a little bit of a breathing space. Oh, Aditya, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still trying to catch my breath there. That was that was a really crazy few corners there. Yeah, like we said, ladies and gentlemen, like, like the, the, this race, two minutes to go. Now we know the tyres are going. Arman now up in the fifth place. Paying tribute to Kari with the Lakshmi Wheels car. What a beautiful drive, Arman up in the fifth place. This is a good buddy. So he'll show in sixth place right behind him. So we, we, we're seeing a lot of these battles go up and down the field right now. Um, because now I think Amit Kuti's got a four second lead, five second lead almost over Karthik Tarni in front. With Rohan Shankar now in third place, Vikash Anand in fourth place for Bangalore. So we do have Amit Kuti, Rohan Shankar, Vikash Anand, the Bangalore boys now in the top three, which is going to give them a big haul of points to Chennai. Because of, I, I'm trying to figure out where are the boys. It's, I think the first Chennai boy, Sai Sanjay, in eighth place at the moment. Yeah, I think. Yeah, these but, guys, uh, you know, but they still have laps in hand to try and fight. Uh, and see if they can get back. You know, Sai Sanjay is definitely he's a fighter. We've seen before that he's a fighter. And he's oh, it's made a mistake. As many points as he can. Oops, so, I think Soel's so just made a mistake. Yeah, Soel's gone so deep in the corner. 
Ars dropping back into seventh place. I think it's given. Yeah, I think Arman is now up in the fifth place. Arman is now catching uh, Vikash Arman in fourth place. Uh, is Arman taking him? Yep, Arman has, but Vikash Arman is making a mistake. Rohan Shankar as well has made a mistake, which gives. Oh, I think no, Rohan Shankar made a mistake, which gives Arman up in the fourth place. Two seconds behind Vikash Arman now. And Vikash is uh, up in the third place. Even Vikash up in the third place. So we do have. I mean, like it's between this way. I think. Uh, um, yeah, because Rohan Shankar seems to have made a mistake in fifth. Now we do have Amit Kuti now with one minute to go uh, in this race. Rohan Shankar is coming back very hard, Arman. I wonder how long he's going to be able to hold off Rohan Shankar. Uh, Arthya, because Vikash Anand is not very far off. He's less than a second now uh, behind. Arman is now less than a second behind Vikash Anand. And this is going to be great to watch because Arman, we know, hasn't had too much practice on this game. Uh, but he's there. He's in the podium contention right now, Arthya. Yeah, he's going to fight hard because... It's the last lap now. Arman's going to do everything he can. We see a bunch of guys actually in the pit. I think uh, a bunch of incidents plus some connectivity issues, you know, has had them have a tough time here. But as we speak, I'm also chatting with the drivers, getting feedback from them to see what the issue actually was. Um, but while we speak, we see again, like you said, Arman, where's Arman gone? He's not there anymore. I think Arman's had, yeah, he, he had, I have a feeling he's had connectivity issues because. He switched to me, went to 13th place and was in the pit. So I have a feeling something's gone on with the server. Uh, but that being said, with about 7 seconds to go, ladies and gentlemen, with the first race of this evening, and Ultimate E is All-Star Retro GP, the Battle of the Cities, with Amit Kuti now with a 5 second, 5.7 second lead after a crazy battle with Karthik Tarni for second place. Karthik Tarni now has made it back up in the second place with Vikash Anand in third place, Rohan Shankar in fourth, Vishnu Prasad, um, Vishnu Prasad in fifth, and Rohan Shankar and Vishnu Prasad have fought their way back all the way from 9th, 10th, 11th, uh, all the way back to these positions in the top five, which is going to give them a good amount of points because we are battling, it is a championship, we're battling for these points. So let's see what, what let's see let, uh, let's see what to do uh, i mean i mean so let's see where the where this goes because now i think the checkered flag should ideally drop we are riding on board with amit kuti uh we're going to see him come across the finish line take another superb win uh on the first race of ultimate retro gp battle this is but very very close behind we have kartik tan and vikash anand in second and third this is a really really close finish and a superb drive by Vikash Anand because he's now hustling Kastik Tarni all the way down as he ran out of fuel. Yeah, Vikash Anand does finish in, in third place. Rohan Shankar, his teammate right there in uh, fourth place. So good, good haul of points for Bangalore at this point in time. Followed by Vishnu Prasad in fifth place. Vishwas Vijay Raj will come home in sixth place. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been an absolute cracker of our first race. Anand, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's been something, it's been something else to watch. Especially that fight between Karthik and Amit, you know, in the middle of the race. Superb to watch, but Karthik unfortunately made a little bit of mistake, but still managed to bring the car home in second place. Great points for Karthik. And you know who's really affected by this? It's going to be Sai Sanjay. Sai Sanjay, uh, yeah, Sai he was Sanjay leading the championship. Yeah, and uh, a bunch of guys actually didn't finish this race. So I've been on the chat with the drivers to try and see. Uh, uh, I mean, you look at it, we only have seven. We have eight finishers here, so seven finishers here. Seven finishers, um, yeah, yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna play a role in the points here. But I'm pretty sure the uh, the stewards and the race director will make the right call to make sure the guys uh, aren't too affected by this. Absolutely, because that's exactly what the stewards are there for, ladies and gentlemen, just for them to keep a tab, make sure there's fair racing, everyone has the exact same treatment, there's fair play all through along. Uh, but if you're just joining us, we've just finished uh, We've just finished race one of the Ultimate E All-Stars Retro Series. We're racing the Brabham BT-44s in NOLA at the USA. It has been a cracker of a first race with Amit Kuti, of course, winning again, uh, uh, but Akatik Tarni through an absolute mega fight hit him through the entire race until he made a mistake but came back up to finish very very well in second Vikash Anand we haven't seen much of him over the weekend but a commendable third place and a brilliant drive right at the end to hold off Rohan Shankar finishing in fourth Vishnu Prasad and Vishwas Vijay Raj Sai Sanjay uh, coming back from the top after they made big mistakes in the first lap to come back up and finish was very very good and Narayan Karthikeyan and Chetan Karada 9th and 10th running the top 10 off so it's been a crack of the first race we're, coming, we're now going to be going into race 2 uh, what's going to happen right now is we're going to have a 10 minute qualifying again followed by a 10 minute race so ladies and gentlemen 10 minutes to qualifying 10 minutes to race we're just having a couple of stewards now uh, we're getting that we're having we're having Arthi and Arman and the stewards talk to the drivers at this point in time because we had a couple of issues uh, last time out we only see seven cars finishing two people had server issues so we're just going about that getting it up we, we do apologize we're at the mercy of tech so here we go 
Uh, but we do have Bangalore, Chennai, Delhi, Hyderabad, Mumbai, and Pune all driving for us today. And it's been crazy. But I think after this race, uh, Althea, this is going to move Amit Kuti now uh, up to the top of the championship, followed by, I think, Karthik Tarni is going to come in second place. And then Sai Sanjay will be third. Uh, so this shakes it all up, going into race two with one more day left for championships, Althea. It shakes up the drivers' championship for sure. But as far as the teams go, it's still advantage Chennai because... No matter what happened, there was always one driver from their team keeping it strong. Of course, Amit has been doing everything he can for the Bangalore team as well. So, <laughs> it's going to be a, a great bunch of races. We've got three more races to go, so it's still a long way to go. We're only just about halfway through the championship. One more race, uh, one race uh, beyond the halfway point. So, there's still a long way to go in this championship. Absolutely, because the way they finish this time out with Amit Kuti in first and Vikash Anand in uh, Vikash Anand in third and Ron Shankar in fourth, it's going to give Bangalore a big haul of points because uh, the highest finisher we had for Chennai was Karthik Tadni. And Chennai right now with 121 points, Bangalore with 106 points. So we're just going to do the math, figure this all out and come back to you uh, with championship standings in a while. So uh, we're going to go now into Q1, ladies and gentlemen, of uh, the Ultimate E All-Stars Retro GP. We're at NOLA racing the Brabham BT. Play falls. It's going to be a crazy, crazy race because I can, um, because I can, I can basically see, um, because I can basically see Arthya from the first race that we had. There was so much carnage at turn one, and then when things settled down, the and the virtual safety car or the of course yellow rather came out. Things settled down. There was some great race craft from a couple of these guys like Arthik and uh, Amit that we saw from Vishnu and Narain. Just take us through a couple of those battles. Oh, that's exactly what we want to see, you know, and uh, my favorite battle of the race was definitely the one between Karthik and Amit. So clean, they gave each other enough room. Of course, there was that unfortunate incident behind the safety car, but uh, behind the safety car, you always have your chance to at least come back and get your place. You know, there's no damage in these particular cars. We've, we've switched it off to give all the drivers a chance and not to get unnecessarily kicked out of the race. Obviously, we do see incidents because of that, but as we go on over the weeks, the drivers are starting to respect each other even more. So it's perfectly fine, you know, to, for them to, to have a few incidents every now and then. Of course, the safety car is there to bunch them up. And we do have the stewards and the organizers to try and make sure everything is fair. Uh, like they say, you know, all's fair in love and war. But and war. Going back to those battles, <laughs> going back I only to see battles, war, I don't see love anymore. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just a game, you know. You guys have to enjoy it. Ah, uh, but I think when it comes to racing, Aditya, you say, tell me, as a racing driver, a game or on track or whatever it or whatever it may be, you're just competitive, isn't it? Like all through. Well, if you're a competitor, uh, you're come there we go. You a chess player, you throw a chess player into a video game, he or she is going to be competitive. No exactly. matter what, you are going to try your best to be competitive at it. So you know, it's just human nature, I guess. And if you're if you've got that competitive nature, it's it's what you're going to do. I mean, out there is trying to be nice to all the racing drivers out there, but let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, from the ones I know, uh, man, when they're competitive on track, off track, it doesn't matter. They want to beat you at everything that they do. And that's just in their nature. And that's something that's really great to see because that gives all of us motivation to do things. Out there. But uh, that being said, I think we're going to jump straight back into qualifying now. We're at race two at NOLA. Uh, this is our retro GP from Ultimate E. We're going to have Bangalore, Chennai, Delhi, Hyderabad, Mumbai, and Pune battled out be the last race of the of the R Factor series this evening. We're going to be followed, ladies and gentlemen, by uh, at nine o'clock by the GT Championships. This is the last round of the GP Championships. We're going to have Patrick the Machine Blazin joining us, uh, who's the Williams Esports driver and been setting the pace all through the week. Uh, while we've been running the championship, we're going to be at Spa for that. So join us then. It's going to be a cracker to watch. Uh, but there we are. We're a couple of seconds away out there now from qualifying two. Uh, and since I didn't do it the first time around, you think? Second time around, qualifying too. We know the pace. We know the, the pace these guys have. Uh, put your money on. Has to be uh, Amit. You know, Amit was one second ahead of the rest of the field, so he is going to be really, really quick in qualifying, without doubt. I, I think Amit is going to be the fastest of the lot. But what's going to really be interesting is between second and tenth, because oh. second to tenth was really, really close. And it's anybody's game there. Karthik was quick the last time around and we saw him really quick in the race as well. So uh, he does have a good chance. Uh, Sai is struggling a little bit on this circuit. He did struggle in qualifying as well. Vishnu is very, very quick. Um, well, if I had to put my money on three people, it would be obviously Amit for pole. And it's between Vishnu and uh, Karthik for second and third. 
Oh, I mean, that's uh, that's saying something because last week we had, you had Alfred Dioda on your cards and this week we've got Kartik Tarni there. I think you've been doing your homework and seeing who to support Alutya now. Uh, that's being unfair to you. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Hey, I'm watching these guys. I'm watching their pace, you know. So I, I'm trying my luck here to see if my <laughs> predictions are right. I toss the coin and hope all goes well. Uh, we, there we are. I think we are here for qualifying two. We're going to have a 10-minute qualifying session. We're at Nola. This is a this is a four-kilometer circuit with 13 corners. You know, in, insane because we've seen while the track is narrow, there's so many of these corners these guys can overtake in. Uh, and that's been great to watch because we saw from the first race there were some super battles all the way up and down the grid. I mean, especially the ones between Amit Kuti, Kartik Tarni, the ones between Vikash Anand and Narayan Kartikeyan, uh, the ones between the ones further down the field uh, where, where we saw Vishnu Prasad and Rohan Shankar make, make all the, make their way up to the field. Adman Ibrahim coming in. I mean, while he was there until the server kicked him out, was you know commendable fourth place going after third place. So hopefully he can come back as well because. Uh, Old man's got some space up his sleeve this weekend, as yeah. He does. He's been practicing. Obviously, he jumped on quite late for this particular practice session today, but he's been practicing through the week. And I know he's been practicing. I think he's been telling people he's not been practicing because I got a few messages from from a few guys saying, "Why are you lying about Arman? He's not been practicing through the week." I know he's been practicing through the week. He's got himself a system now, uh, so he's. He's going to be quick. I think I mean, he's just been hiding that pace. He's going to bring it out at some point. He brought it out in the first race and he's he's definitely going to bring it out a bit more now in this qualifying. If you, if you follow Armar on Instagram, uh, all his stories have been from his race seats. So we know exactly what he's been doing all week, Aditya. He can't hide that from us coming up here and saying that. Uh, he just started. Go- he just got on board because every story of his uh, that he's sitting and where he's where he's talking about I don't know whatever. Um, yep, he's doing it off his uh, sim basically at the end of it. So all week long he's been practicing. But yep, uh, that being said, I think we can bring uh, Soil Shah on board because uh, he was really quick in qualifying last race. Out there, I think we'll have a quick chat with him to figure out to figure out uh, how his race went through. Um, on board, Soil, welcome. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, man. Uh, you got a cracker of a start last race. Take us through it. Um, so I got a good start, but uh, with the carnage at turn one, I managed to escape most of it. But then I think the driver, I don't know exactly who, but one of the drivers uh, escaped it and then, then took me out and I was on, on my roof. I was upside down. And uh, then I had to go back to the pits and come back out. Luckily, Can the safety stop? car came out. <laughs> Luckily, the kick, uh, safety car came out and I could catch up, but... Otherwise, I think I would have been at the back. And then I got taken out again mid-race uh, by, I think, the same driver, but not sure who. And uh, after that, uh, I made, I kept making mistakes and that's what I was. And then, and then I, got, I, got, I got disqualified for some reason. <laughs> I, think it just had little, I think we had a little bit of issues right there. But uh, Soil, I think that was a great drive to see me while you were around. It was great to watch you. But here we go. I think we're in uh, qualifying now. We're going to let you go and practice. and I mean, not practice, but qualify and focus and be on your way. Best of luck for this second race, uh, Soil. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, man. So we like, uh, so ladies and gentlemen, if you, we know if you're just joining us, we're at Ultimate E's Retro, uh, we're Ultimate E's All Star Retro GP Battle of the Cities, uh, and it's great to have these drivers come on board, Aditya, and hear from them because, um, you know, while we come here, we only see a couple of angles, we miss out a lot of the action from the back, uh, but it's great to hear from them in terms of what actually is going on and how they're driving these circuits. Yeah, you know, technology can really do some interesting stuff for us, and. Uh to be able to bring them on board to hear their views of it, although we haven't caught it on camera. Um, that's great, you know. And like I said before, the fact that the two of us are sitting on an app and being able to sit in what we call the commentary box from completely yep. different locations, you're in Delhi, yep. I'm in Chennai, and we make it work, is something else. I mean, that's that's the beauty of tech right now because you know a couple of years ago someone told us that we could sit in a couple of different cities across the country across the world and stream from someone's house have a bunch of people from across the world gaming on that one single platform while a whole other bunch of our fans and audience come and watch it could never be possible but now it is and uh, ultimately brings it to your homes and we bring you e-racing every single weekend with different formats uh, from gt to i-racing to r factor to the all-stars Indo Ceylon GTs uh, to the Indo Ceylon battle with India versus Sri Lanka, and it's been great these last couple of weeks because through lockdown, where we haven't had where we haven't had uh, 
uh, real racing and actual on track racing because what we'd be right now is in the middle of summer uh, watching uh, Formula One go through Monaco or MotoGP go through Europe. But here we are sitting in the safety of our own homes, uh, staying safe while everyone is, uh, while we hopefully get rid of this pandemic very, very quickly. Um, so, yeah, I think uh, w w it's good to watch because uh, it's great to have e racing and these guys. Uh, come on and put on a show every single weekend and week out and of course guys behind the scenes uh, at Ultimate E from Tarun, Biresh, Sohil, Surya uh, and everyone else helping of course Armal out there, everyone else helping out it's been great to watch um, here we go, I think we're in qualifying right now we're just following Sohil Shahran who we just had a chat with, it's the quickest, quickest one last time was a 132 so we know Sohil went quicker in Q1 so let's just see what he can do this time out because of course these guys have had practice, they've had 10 minutes of qualifying, they've had 10 minutes of race 1. We're now in in qualifying 2, which is another 10 minutes. And then we have uh, race uh, 2, which is another 10 minutes as well. So, let's just see where this uh, where this heads, where this heads lands up. Because, like Adhya mentioned earlier, we had a whole bunch of usual suspects. Uh, we had a whole bunch of usual usual suspects last time around. In the likes of Amit Kuti, Adhya Rohan, Shankar Sai, Sanjay, Kartik Tani. But it all went topsy-turvy after, after, after turn 1. Uh, where we had a great, great battle for a couple of laps between Amit Kuti and Karthik Tane and I really, really hope to see some things very, very similar this time around. Of course, the Chennai boys and the Bangalore boys, they're locked in such a great battle between themselves. Let's not count out the guys from Bombay, which is Adit Deodhar, um, who is now, who's now, who's our lone Bombay representative in fourth place in the championship. So, uh, we've got a little bit, we've got a little ways to go. So, let's just see where, um, let's just see where this takes us finally because we do have one more day of racing tomorrow we're going to be at another one of my another favorite favorite tracks we're going to be in sapang in malaysia which is no longer on the formula one calendar and we're going to be racing the hackinen's car there which is the mp413 uh, of course we've saw, we've seen him have some super battles over the years let's see what our ultimate e uh, sim racing boys can do with this car tomorrow but today we are in nola at uh, we are in nola in, in new orleans in america racing uh, the Brabham BT44s, Ooh, as I say, that Soil, Soil truck goes off on a big spin, Ooh, all on his own. So, Soil, uh, <laughs> I don't think it should be talking to you any longer. But, um, yeah, Soil's had a big, big spin. So, um, just waiting for a couple of guys right now to come on board. Uh, just waiting for them to join the server, and then we should be able to go racing. I'm joined alongside Altea Patel, so let's just see what happens with him. I've also got Arman with me. Uh, this side of town, Arman. Let's just get him in very quickly. Let's just see if we can hear from him. Arman, are you there with us? I think Ar we're gonna. I think we're gonna wait for Arman because we're feeling. Yeah, I don't think Arman's with us right now. We're just waiting for him to come back on. Yeah, he's just texting me saying, "Yo, <laughs> I'm driving." <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, so we'll get Arman back very, very shortly. But we had a great, great outing last race out. Of course, Amit Kuti uh, in qualifying had a one-second lead, brilliant battle with um, Kartik Tarni, and then finished the race uh, in the same order with Amit Kuti, Kartik Tarni in first and second. So big haul of points with uh, for Chennai and uh, Bangalore last time out. They're going to be closing the championship for sure because Amit Kuti, Rohan Shankar, Vikash Anand in first, fifth, and third, respectively. Uh, so Bangalore's got a big, big haul of points from last time around. Uh, but there we go. We're just following Adman around, like we said. He's setting personal bests again with greens, greens. Ah, uh, let's see if we can get a purple in there, Adman. Come on, show them what, show them what you've got. Um, because you know, with Adman Ibrahim, he's been racing so long. Uh, he's been racing for a really long, really, really long time, and one of the best in India. Uh, of course, great to see him on the sim racing circuits, and there's a lot for the boys in motorsports. Of course, he's also a driver, coach, and taken quite a few people. I take quite a few people through the ranks as well of Formula Racing through the, through the years. So he does know what he's all about and does know uh, what we and does know uh, and does know um, what this is all about. That being said, you know it's great to see because ultimately he is giving these guys the opportunity to go from sim racing into real world racing. So like we talk about Amit Kuti so much, and the reason we do so is because he's also signed a deal right now with Narayan Kartikeyan and Racing and which is NK Racing. Uh, and uh, Ultimate E, so Ultimate E is going to give him the platform uh, where NK will, will, will trade him in go-karts and hopefully in 2021 uh, everything goes back to hopefully normal, uh, gets a shot of the Rotax go kart Championship, so that's actually great to see and you know a lot of the other guys, who people like Vishnu Prasad, uh, people people like uh, people like Vishnu Prasad who are actually Chetan Kurada, of course Arman, people like that who are actual racing drivers, uh, Karthik Tarni and the likes. Um, 
it's been great. I mean, it's great to see the actual racing drivers come out uh, and race as well because this entire this this entire uh, couple of weeks it's been a superb mix of both. It's been Eastern guys. I mean, it's been you know, kids who are 12, 13, 14, uh, and the likes been racing on sims all their lives compared to guys like Arthur Tarni and whatnot who've, who've who've actually raced on real world tracks but putting these two together it's great to watch uh, but we're almost lined up we're almost we've got a whole bunch of guys we're almost good to go um, into this we're just waiting with these guys are just practicing right now they're putting in a couple of stonkers before they can get out for our 10 minute qualifying session that will be followed by a 10 minute race immediately after that um, so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We've got qualifying on our way. Here we go. This is going to be crazy because we've got nine minutes of qualifying left. Uh, we're on board with Karthik Tarni, the man who finished second. Gave Amit Kuti a very, very hard time last time around. We're going to see what he can do. And of course, right behind him, we've got Sai Sanjay. I mean, right in front of him. Sorry. Uh, Sai Sanjay. So the Chennai boys, let's see. Uh, we've seen them. We, 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 we've seen them. Uh, we've seen them take. We've seen them be. We've seen them stuck with each other throughout. Uh, but it's going to be. It's going to be great. As I said, that Karthik Tarni has a big off uh, on his out laps. Let's just see. I'm not going to. Let's not say much about Chennai right now. Um, it's not, let's not say much about them right now. Um, here we go. I think we're on board right now with Amit Kuti. All these guys right now just coming out, selling their out laps, uh, bombing their tires up, bombing their brakes up, and then eventually we'll start pushing on a hot lap. And when we do, ladies and gentlemen, just to give you what our screens are about, on the top left corner, you do see the Q, which is the 825 and the countdown timer going down that's the uh, time remaining for qualifying the bottom right corner you do see you do see eighth place uh number seven i'm gonna his number and the no time and he's on his out lap right now and of course those three bars down there will give you yellows purples or greens depending on the sectors that they set of course when we see with this man uh when we follow this one around we see a lot of purples very very consistently and he always finds time to go quicker uh he always finds time to go quicker and quicker so that's that's something you know that's something great we, great to watch and of course we've said we've thrown everything at him from i factor to our, our series gt it's no matter what we throw at him he just finds a way to drive and drives it to the max um yeah but i think we're now about seven minutes left for qualifying so seven minutes 40 seconds left for qualifying two minutes in at this point in time we're not going to see these guys i think show that pace yet it's going to come out very very soon uh, of course when we go back into two minutes in, 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 into the last two minutes like we did see the last time out uh, because when it did came, when it came down to that it was crazy and there we go riding on board right now Amit Kuti going to set his first stonker of a lap I think I can feel this coming hurtling down the start finish straight uh, into turn one so I mean you're coming into turn one it's a fast little kink it's a kinky of a right it's a kink right hander and then you go up and over left and then you come down this into a, into a small little tight hairpin, which is turn number three, and then into a turn number four, which is no, which is another right hander that you get into. So sorry, another left hander that you get into. So uh, and then down back straight into turn number five. It's another. It's now a nice sequence of corners. Resembles Istanbul's turn eight quite a bit. Of course, a lot slower, not as fast as it was in Istanbul. And then all the way between turn seven, eight, nine, ten. Just it's it's a fast flowing, smooth section. All the way down there with fast corners as well. And as we said, Amit Kuti now putting in a purple sector with a 36.6 uh, on his first sector. He's now coming into the second sector right now. Uh, down that back straight. It's a very, very short back straight. This track, the straights on this track aren't really very long. Of course, the track is super narrow as well. But it's got really wide runoff. So you can get to go. Uh, you get to go the distance. So it's really, really great to watch. I think he's just going to come around the second sector any minute round. Now, there we go. A 29 2, another purple by Amit Kuti. Uh, but right now, six minutes in, I think Vishnu Prasad has also had the pace uh, with Karthik Tarni in second place, Ron Shankar in third, Sanjay, oh, I think Oshan Kothadia has just replaced them up in the fifth place. So we haven't seen much of him. Uh, we haven't seen much of Oshan, but I'm sure we will because last weekend out. He was super entertaining, and the battles he the, and the battles he provided was really, really good. And then we see across the line. There we go, 135. Ah, that's a second. That's one second, ladies and gentlemen. Exactly what he did the last time out to Vishnu, right behind him between Vishnu, uh, Prasad, Karthik Tanni, and Rohan Shankar. About two tenths and between pra Karthik, uh, uh, between Vishnu Prasad and Karthik Tanni, there's absolutely nothing in it. Uh, between the two of them, then we see Karthik going. He set a personal best uh, in his first lap. Uh, he he just set a personal best right now in his first lap out. So let's see if he can keep this going uh, because he did purple. He did he did do a purple sector last time around at some point. So we know he's super super quick. Oh, he's going. He's 
Sohan. He's about two tenths off right now. Uh, but yeah, I think Sohel Shah from out of nowhere. We were just speaking to him, and there we go. He's gone and put up in a second place. And other than there, these are the guys you said watch out for. These are the guys that I said we have not seen much, and they want to come back. They're going to be driving for revenge, and that's exactly what they're doing. And as Karthik Tadni comes across the line, let's see what he's going to be putting in. There we go. 131. One uh, moves him right up into fourth place. Half a second now. He's closed that gap by half a second. Um, to Amit Kuti, so there's still a half a second gap, but behind him, um, with uh, okay, behind him with Sohil Shah and Advit Diodar, oh, there's absolutely nothing in it. Rohan Shankar now rounding off the top five, so we're on board right now with Sai Sanjay. He's coming around 132. That was his last night, about an eighth place, not fast enough. I've been struggling a bit, but putting in personal best, putting in 36 7, so he's already a second off the pace, I think, right now, uh, coming. 30 seconds, second of the pace coming in, in sector 2. So I'm not sure where Sai Sanjay has lost his pace this weekend. We see someone ahead of him, I think he's had a big off. A lot of dust being kicked up there. But Sai Sanjay, uh, you know, we saw, we saw a lot of him last weekend out. But this weekend, we haven't seen much of him. And I'm, I'm trying to figure out if he's going to get to grips with this track or not. I think he's still got something in the bag. And then let's not count this guy out, ladies and gentlemen, because he is going to come back very, very strong at the race. Um, that's exactly what he did the last time out. So again, putting another personal best in sector two. So let's just see what way he can come when he comes across the line. I wonder where he's going to be because he's definitely going to have a quicker lap than he, than he did the last time out. Um, than he did the last time out. So he can. I'm still waiting to see. There we go. Let him come across the line. I'm still waiting to see where he is. Just waiting for the timing screens to come back up so we can see him. Uh, Sai Sanjay now puts the car up to six place. There we go. He's moved up two places and he's still got a couple of minutes. Um, for qualifying right now, so we're still gonna we, we ride on board them right now. We'll still see where he is. I wonder what's happening with the rest of the guys behind the pack. Um, I'm wondering what's happening with the rest of the guys behind the pack because we've got everyone from oh, where's Arman. I'm still waiting for the timing screens to come up, ladies and gentlemen, that I can tell you exactly who's where and doing what. Uh, but right now we're on board with Arman. We have about three minutes of qualifying left. Mitch Kuti is now put in a 135. Followed by Karthik Tarni, half a second behind him. Of course, Advit Deoda, Vishnu Prasad uh, are right there as well. So this is going to be a, this is going to be something to watch because Sohil Shah now up in the fourth place. Advit Deoda down in fifth place. Sai Sanjay moved up two places in seventh, sixth place. Ron Shankar finished very, very strong in fourth place last time out. Had the pace in the race, uh, but in now currently right now in seventh place. I think that's eighth place. We have Arman Ibrahim right now eighth place, running off the top eight. There we go. I think uh, Vishnu Prasad, Karthik Tarni, absolutely nothing in it. I mean, if you look at two, three, four, five, there is less. And there is actually less than a tenth between the two, between the top five. And that's really, really great to watch. Because two minutes in, these guys are still going on. And I think now is where we start to see real race, real pace come out. Because, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you remember, Amit Kuti did a 130 points uh, flat uh, last time out. And he still got half a second in the bag. So we know he has the pace. Uh, of course, Karthik Tarni half second. We're trying to catch him through. Superb battle last time out uh, between the two of them. So let's just see if we can get those two. Let's just see if we can get them. Uh, if we can get any closer to uh, Amit Kuti. He does. He's got two tenths now between the two of them. So there we go with 1.30 to go. With one and a half minutes to go. At NOLA at Ultimate Ease All-Star Retro GP Battle of the Cities. With the R Factor Series. With the BT Brabham BT44s. 1.30 to go. Kartik Tarni now has taken out a huge chunk of time of Amit Kuti. He's taken out three tenths in the last lap also. He's only two tenths behind him. Uh, coming in now, we've got one second between him and Vishnu Prasad. Amit Kuti right now and Vishnu Prasad. There's a decent amount of gap. So, Vishnu needs to find some time through all of this, I think. Uh, of course, with Sohil Shah, superb drive up in fourth place. Fifth place, Adit Deodar. So, he's been struggling a little bit in the first race. But it seems to me that he's found his pace. Uh, because he's now only 1.3 seconds off. So, that's not too much between the two of them. Oh, but there we go. I think Amit Kuti. Uh, Amit Kuti has gone even faster. Just as we were talking about him. He's gone even quicker the last time out. Uh, this time out. So, he's done a 130.019. You know, the last time out was a 130.089. He has just gone quicker, and of course, Karthik Tani has a lot of work now with 30 seconds to go on his hands. I wonder if he can get make it up there. But Sol Shah, what a stonker of a lap! He puts himself up in the third place, uh, but two tenths ahead of Vishnu Prasad. But Advit Deodar again, another crazy little lap that he's put him on his own uh, in, into fourth place. So, is this is this is shaken up the top five quite a bit right now. Uh, of course, I was with Altair, he's having some connectivity 
uh, issues at this point in time. So bear with me. The only voice you will hear uh, for the next 20 minutes or so is mine. Uh, but I will take you through this as the best I can. So we do have Arman and Sohil on standby with us. So as and when we can, I'll see if we can bring them in. Uh, but there we go. The checkered flag has dropped. And these guys are on their last laps. We're riding on board with Sohil Shah. That was a beautiful lap, so that you put in 131 flat to the second of Amit. But um, to put him put himself up to third place, I think that was brilliant to watch. But I think he can go around this corner again. He's going to pop into sector one any second now. Backed off a bit. Um, oh no, I think the timing screen. Yeah, I don't think we've been able to capture that. Uh, but there we go. I think there we have it. Amit Kuti now takes pole in this. Uh, he takes pole in race two at Nola. But at ultimate ease, our factor. Uh, Retro GP, the battle of the cities. We have Karthik Tarni now who takes second place. So Ulsha coming around to the last corner now. Let's see if we can let's see if we can put that car up any further. But he's been pushing and pushing and pushing. Uh, he's been pushing and pushing so hard. He's been practicing very very hard. Of course, we uh, we said let's not count this guy out because he's super quick. Comes across the line. Ah! No, no, managed to hold third place. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Amit Kuti takes pole. Kartik Tarni in second place. Sohil Shah in third place. Advit Deodar in fourth. Followed by Vishnu Prasad. We thought he'd be a lot, lot quicker in fifth place. Sai Sanjay for Chennai in sixth place. He's got to be way up on the table. He is our championship leader at this present time. Rohan Shankar in seventh place. Arman Ibrahim in eighth place. And Oshan Kotadia in ninth place. And Vikash Anand in tenth. I'm going to see if I can bring Arman on very, very quickly. Um... Arman, how are you? Are you with us? I don't think I can. I'm, 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 I don't think I can hear Arman right now. So we'll bring him back very, very soon. Uh, very, very soon. Let me see if I can bring Sohil because Sohil is here as well. Uh, I'm just gonna bring Sohil on board. Well, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear Sohil. Sohil, oh, nice. stonker, put that car up in third place. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant drive. Yeah, I think it could have gone a bit faster. It was about. Three times quicker my last lap, but uh, I invalidated my lap, so that didn't count. Uh, otherwise, I think it could have been a bit higher. That was a stonker, so about a second off. You are up with the big boys right now uh, in the top three. So we, I'm really, really excited and looking forward to watching you start uh, from there and hopefully bring some good points home for Delhi today. Uh, all the best, Sohel. Thank you. I really hope so, I do, because <laughs> we've seen the Mono Carnage at turn one. <laughs> Let's not hope for that because we've seen enough of that chaos. But all the best, and we wish you all the best for this round. Thank you. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That was Sohil Shah. He's up in third place at the moment after an absolute conquer of a lap that he put across. Atik Tarni in second with Amit Kuti on pole for race number two. This is going to be a 10 lap or a 10 minute race. Uh, for race number two, we're at Ultimate E, All-Stars Retro GP, the Battle of the Cities. We have Bangalore, Chennai, Delhi, Hyderabad, Mumbai and Pune all battling around each other. Amit Kuti on pole, seven tenths ahead of Karthik Tarni. So Karthik Tarni has found about three tenths because he was second off the last time out and had a super battle between the two. I cannot wait to see what happens this time around because Karthik Tarni is driving revenge and I'm sure he's going to be driving with his elbows out. Also, bringing home, uh, the, can bring home the maximum number of points himself third in the, third in the uh, individual championships and for Chennai who's number one in the championship so Shah Stonko we just heard from him right now in third place Vishnu Prasad in fourth Adit Deodhar in fifth Ron Shankar in sixth Sai Sanjay in seventh Arman Ibrahim in eighth Prashant Kotadia in ninth and Vikash Anand turns off our top ten we're, we're racing Brabham BT44s of course, we have Chetan Surinani in 11th and Vishwas Vijayaraj in 12th. That's our 12 drivers that will be participating in this evening's 10-minute race number 2. We're going to have a... I think we, we have a cracker on our hands. We're a couple of minutes away. We're about a minute away from going racing right now. We're just waiting for everyone to get onto their servers and then we will go racing. In the meanwhile, still waiting for Artya to come back on. So hopefully he does soon. He's having a few issues on his end. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, with Ahmed Kuti on pole like he did last race, but and Karthik Tarni right behind him, I can I, I can only see this be uh, I, I can only see uh, uh, elbows are in the, into the first corner because like we said it's not a very long uh, start finish straight it's it's a, it's a short start finish straight going into turn one and turn one big opportunity to overtake so Ahmed Kuti on pole Karthik Tarni in second Sohil Shah in third Vishnu Prasad right now in fourth place I'm sure he's going to be way up the field Vishnu because Vishnu has got some super pace for this race. Adit Deodhar in 5th, Rohan Shankar in 6th, Sai Sanjay in 7th, Arman Ibrahim in 8th. We saw Arman's brilliant drive until he had connectivity issues that came all the way up to almost 3rd place uh, and would have 
Yeah. Vikas out in the ninth place. He was running in third. He, he finished in third last time out. Qualified in ninth. So let's not cut him on. He will come back very, very hard. Nitin Surneni in 10th, uh, Vishwas Vijayaraj in 11th, Oshan Kotadia in 12th. Oshan, we haven't seen much of him. I'm really, really hoping we can see a lot of him this race because he, he was superb last time out. Uh, and we saw him put in some superb drives last time out. Uh, and of course, he was out there as golden boy last time out. So, I'm waiting to see what he can do. Um, but there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have the cars on the grid. Everyone's ready. The flag, you will see the gentleman drop the flag. There we go. Green flags are out. And we're just waiting for the flag to drop, and off we go racing. Karthik Tari, that's a brilliant stop by him. He's going to pull right alongside Ahmed Kuti coming in at turn one. He's hustling him all the way down. The right behind him, we see Sohil Shah defending the inside line. He's defending very, very well. And Sohil Shah blow breaks so late, goes extremely wide. But Karthik Tani then takes the lead. Oh, Sohil Shah's got a big swing in the back, but Karthik Tani takes the lead. Oh, there's chaos in the back again. Oh my god, it's back. We're back to chaos again. Uh, but Karthik Tarni now has taken the lead. Uh, going into this, uh, uh, yeah, Karthik Tani is taking the lead. Going into turn one, Amit Kuti following him right. Followed, uh, yeah, it's followed by Amit Kuti right now uh, in third place. Uh, who's in third place right now? Yep, yeah, yeah Amit Kuti. Yeah, Amit Kuti is hustling him right now. I'm just waiting for the timing scenes to come out because things have seen starting to settle down. Uh, starting to settle down right now. So hopefully, hopefully this settles down. Hopefully this settles down a bit, and then we can see. Um, then we can then we can see what happens uh, but i think the safety car will be deployed and then we can bunch the field up and then go racing again because of course we've had a huge ball of uh, incidents right behind these two um let's just see where we are with 13 minutes yeah two minutes of racing to go things are settling down a little bit Karthik Tarni right now uh with amit kuti right behind them up to second but amit kuti is hustling him all the way through vishnu prasad now like we said made up some places because Anand made up a huge number of places in fourth place as with the other vishwas vijay raj as well and there we go full course yellow which is like the virtual safety car ladies and gentlemen uh, this is pretty much the cars have to stick to a certain delta across the entire track they cannot go faster they cannot overtake it's a very very much uh, like the safety car is coming out of the track we'll collect these guys the field will bunch up uh, the field will bunch up again we're just waiting to sense of the order as well once the field bunched up because we had a huge number of incidents at the back with everyone going into everyone of course Sol Shah had a superb start came down the inside break very very late in turn one uh, and he flew off the track but there we go right now we have Kartik Tarni leading with Amit Koti behind Vishnu Prasad moved up a couple places in the third place because Anand in fourth with Deodor as well up in the fifth place Vishwas Vijayaraj in the sixth Sol Shah starting third on the grid all the way down in the seventh place big mistake Oshan Kutadia started at the back of the grid, up in the 8th place, so let's not count him out. Rohan Shankar and Sai Samsung, I think these guys have been losing the biggest again, unfortunately. Uh, in that first lap, in those first lap incidents, uh, that, that seems to be a problem between these two because on Shankar, Sai Sanjay, these two guys were battling right up in the front all the way through last race. And this one, unfortunately, uh, they've lost out a couple of places in 9th and 10th place. So, you now we've had a couple of winners and losers. Of course, the biggest winner, I think, out of all this has been Karthik Shankar. Uh, Karthik Tarni, my apologies. Um, there we have Chetan Surneri and Arman Ibrahim as well. Uh, seems to be all the way down in 12th place. Or is he having internet issues and being kicked out of the lobby? That is another... Uh, yeah, that's another... That, that's another... That's something else we could look at as well but uh there we go we're on full course yellow we're following the safety car around we did have a few problems uh in the beginning with those pileups and the slashes but right now as it stands we have uh karthik tarni superb move with that lead from amit kuti but of course amit we know how strong it is and karthik did the exact same thing last race around was in the lead then made a mistake when he was behind Ahmed, so we hopefully don't have to see that again this time. Uh, and he makes the move stick and he makes that lead stick, in fact, uh, because we know he's quick, we know he's been wanting that win uh, time and time again, of course. Um, but there we are, I think we're on board right now with Adman, who's right at the back of the pack. I mean, that black car, very, very, um, uh, that black car right at the back of the pack. Let's just see what he can do from there because we know he's got ooh, <laughs> some race craft. I think Sai Sanjay as well down in 10th place. Oh, big, big loser. I mean, he's lost a lot of huge chunk of places, but of course, he does have the race space, so he will be able to make this up. He definitely, most definitely, will be able to make it up. Uh, that's something I, I can't wait to see him drive from the back. So, let's see what happens. Um, so yep, yeah, let's just see what, uh, yeah, like we're on board. Of course, Armani Ibrahim right, right now, all the way back, all the way up down into the place. Man, what an exciting start that was again. Of course, with the carnage and chaos at the back, it's been 
it, it's just been something else to watch. And now uh, uh, with Karthik Tarni in the lead, Amit Kuti in second, and Vishnu Prasad in third place. This is repeating itself all the way again from last time out. Because uh, this is exactly what happened with Karthik Tarni going in the lead. But I can't wait to see them. Uh, um, I think we're going to have. I think we might have the safety car now coming in very very soon. Uh, and then we will go racing again because we are. We probably have about 10 minutes of racing to go. It will be a sprint and this will be a crazy one to watch. There we go right now, ladies and gentlemen. If you're just joining us, this is this is Ultimate E Battle of the Cities. This is the Retro GP. Uh, we're in NOLA racing the Brabham BT44s. This is round three of the four-round championship we're running this weekend. This is Bangalore versus Chennai, Delhi, Hyderabad, Mumbai, and Pune. And right now, I think uh, we are a cracker of a first race. We're in race number two, where we, the safety cars just come out. And safety cars just come out after a huge pile up in the back of the grid. We're waiting for the grid to bunch up a little bit. We can go racing again. But this is deja vu for me. Exactly like what I saw last time out. Uh, the only difference, we had Amit Kuti in front with Karthik Tarni behind him. And right now we have Karthik Tarni in front, Amit Kuti behind, Vishnu Prasad in third place. That's our top three at the moment going in. Ooh, we see someone, I think he's just lost a little bit. He didn't push wide. Uh, trying to keep his place. It's bunching the entire field up. I think the safety car should ideally one. It says one lap to go. Uh, yep, it says one lap to go, and then the safety car should ideally come in, which means Karthik Tarni will have to now bunch the field up. I think, yep, green flag. We're going racing again. And it's a great start by Karthik Tarni, followed by Amit Kuti in his slipstream. Amit's not taking any undying risk, but Vishnu Prasad uh, in third place now as well. It's a really, really good start because the entire field is stretched out on the surface. Sure. But Karthik goes very, very wide, and so does Amit Kuti, which is Vishnu Prasad gets a Great, great look uh, on the inside. Amit's getting another look again. Vishnu on the outside. He's going to have the inside line going into this corner, but it's going to take... Oh, no, he's going to keep him on the outside. He's keeping him very honest. That's some really clean racing. Amit Kuti and Vishnu Prasad right there. But Amit Kuti still stays out in front with Karthik Tarni right now in first place. Amit Kuti second, Vishnu Prasad in third. That's our top three, and it's very, very close. No one's made mistakes. No one's gone off yet. So it's been really good to see. I wonder what's happening further back behind. Adwit Deodhar and... Vikash Anand in fifth and uh, fourth and fifth right now, but there we go. Uh, we're right now, right, right now, riding on board. Damit Kuti, we have Vishnu Prasad in second place. This is a, oh man, this is this is just absolutely superb. Uh, this is just absolutely superb. And then here we go. Uh, yep, we have, yep, I think Amit Kuti right now is starting to get he's settling down about seven tenths between these two. They've dropped Vishnu Prasad a little bit. Just, um, this pace these two guys are running is superb because between Vishnu and Advait Deodhar, uh, both of them, <clears throat> between Vishnu Prasad and Advait Deodhar, uh, for one for Mumbai and one for Hyderabad, it's going to be a, it's going to be a, a great battle for the last place in the podium. Of course, only, ooh, a very close between Arman and Sai Sanjay. Arman holding him up in 9th place right now, so Sai Sanjay trying to make those places back uh, with 7 minutes to go of racing. He's trying to make those places back again. Sai Sanjay is holding, I mean, Arman is holding him off as much as he can. But Sai Sanjay, of course, much, much quicker on paper. Let's see what he can do down this entire, down this back straight. The last the late breaker, Sai seems to be a little further back. And right ahead of them as well, we've got a couple of battles on our hands. Uh, between Oshan Kotadia and, and Rohan Shankar. And Rohan Shankar seems to have taken him because, oh, is that Oshan going off? Oshan's got, I think Arman's given him a little tap because Arman's kind of ahead. Now, Arman is up in 8th place with Rohan Shankar in 7th, Vishwas Vijayaraj in 6th place. So, Oshan's lost out a bit there because he was all the way on top, uh, starting from the back of the grid in the top 10. But, uh, unfortunately, now he's lost out a couple of places, been tapped, I think, by Arman. But Rohan Shankar, now we see very, very close, uh, very, very close to Vishwas Vijayaraj. And back up in front, I wonder what the gap is now. It's 4 tenths between Karthik Tarni and, Ro and uh, Amit Kuti. 3 tenths, actually, between the two of them. So, uh, these guys have just been throwing this is elbows out and they're throwing everything they can at each other at this current point in time because Rohan Shankar right now in 6th place, Vishwas Raj in 7th it has been these two as well uh, but of course Amit Kuti seems to be Karthik Karni honest all the way up and out in front at the moment but here we go, he's lining him up is that a move? because we see right behind him Arman is taking him, yep Arman has and that's Arman and Sai Sanjay trying to make their moves um, yeah, Arman and Sai Sanjay have moved up another place oh, that is some great racing Arman that's some superb racecraft because he's managed to keep Sai Sanjay behind him and now he's catching Rohan Shankar. Rohan Shankar seems to have made a mistake and he's got a second now uh, to Vishwas Vijayaraj in third. Uh, sorry, Vishwas Vijayaraj in... Oh, is that... Uh, 
takes that. That's Amit Kuri taking going for the lead. What a move down the inside. That is such a sensational move down the inside. And Kartitani is coming right back at him. Oh, it's going to be the last of the late breakers again. Kartitani needs to hold that line. He holds it. He holds it. He holds it. But Amit Kuri on the outside. Oh, Kartik is nudging him. You can see that Kartik is going to push him. Oh, Kartik pushed him very wide. And this is push Amit Kuti very very wide, and this is gonna. And they've got. I think Rohit Shankar's got off as well. Um, yeah, I think Rohit Shankar, which is now because Stu Prasad now is up in the lead, and Karthik Tarni is now in second place. So Karthik Tarni has lost a bit of place. He's definitely lost to Amit Kuti. He's definitely lost to uh, Vishnu Prasad down there because Vishnu now has a three-second lead out of nowhere with Vikas Anand once again in third place, like he did last time out. Rohit Shankar now up in fourth place, and Alvin Deodar in fifth place. This is crazy, Amit. When all of that settled down, is now back into eighth place, and about 10 seconds, 11 seconds, the leader. That is a big, big gap, even for him in four and a half minutes. It took and in four and a half minutes uh, to take. But that was that move around the outside where he tried to go and Karthik Tarni to have covered his line, blocked his line off, and that's push Amit made Amit could go wide. There we have it. Sai Sanjay now coming from tenth. Uh, up in the sixth place at this point in time, which is great to see because Sai Sanjay right now uh, can have some can score, score some really really good points. So we have a Ron Shankar and Vikas Anand. We had some they brought home some really really good points last time out uh, for Team Bangalore. So let's see Ron Shankar between Ron Shankar and Vikas Anand. These two guys are going to be go at it because because Ron Shankar is definitely going to come back at Vikas Anand. He wants that podium position. He hasn't been on the podium in a while. Uh, no, Ron, and we know exactly how good he is. Let's see. Let's see if we can get. Let's see if we can get back on that podium. Hopefully, very very soon. Uh, let's see if we can get back on that podium. Hopefully, very soon. Oh, but there we go. Oh, he ended up. And there's the spin. Ron Shankar seems to spun. Oh, uh, going into the back of Vikas Anand. This is one that's dropping down to three places, which brings Adil Deodar now up to fourth place, and he looks like he's going to take uh, Vikas Anand around the inside, coming to third place. And that's Sai Sanjay now up to fifth place. So the boys from Chennai. Uh, looks like they. Looks like the boys in Chennai are going. To, oh. He's been uh, Adil has been pushed down. It's uh, no, it has been sorry. That's Vikas Anand has been pushed by Adil Deodar right now. So Adil's moved up in the third place. Vikas Anand's been pushed, spun around and lost a whole bunch of places. It is Arman Ibrahim is now in the fifth, up in the fifth place. I think. Um, yeah, Arman's up, up in the fifth place. We have Adil Deodar, uh, Vikas Anand, and sorry, Adil Deodar, Sai Sanjay, Arman Ibrahim in fifth, third, fourth, and fifth. What a great race this is! This is turning out to be. Three minutes left to go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, now we have Vishnu Prasad seems to have a decent lead up in front. I think it's been taken about. I think it's been taken about two tenths every single lap. He's been taking two tenths every single lap of him. So I don't have no. I have no idea how this is going to end. Uh, and for two in two minutes forty five seconds, I think we will know. But Sai Sanjay now up in fourth place, hunting down Adil Deodar. And if Karthik Tarne and Sai Sanjay finish in the order they are. Uh, with in, in, in second and third, that's a huge comeback and haul of points for Chennai after Bangalore destroyed them with the, with first third and for, with first uh, third and fifth last time out. It'll be a really really big haul of points for Chennai uh, if they can get this working and if they can get this down. What well, they can because right now we're on board uh, with Sai Sanjay. Sai Sanjay, I think it's got a little bit of why. No, he's uh, yeah, he's not white, so that's given. That's given Arman. As uh, Arman and Rohan Shankar, I think that is. Yep, as Arman and Rohan Shankar behind them. So Arman and Rohan Shankar seem to be in a great battle. Uh, seem to be locked in a superb little battle. I think Arman's now the role boy is taking it. Rohan Shankar. Rohan Shankar is much, much faster on paper. But Arman, that is some great defensive driving in the background there. Superb defending driving, and he's got that Amit Kuti. I'm sorry, Amit Kuti behind him. So he's not going to hold him up for too long, because Amit Kuti for sure is going to take him in no time. So Amit Kuti now back up into uh, sixth place. So he was pushed all the way down to eighth. Way back in the sixth, but let's see how quick he can. Oh, that's a great hard board shot. Like the ooh, that's very very close. He's trying as much as he can. Oh, look how much later. Look how much later. Okay, but can he hold it? He breaks so much that he's managed to hold that position. That's a great move. And right up uh, up ahead of him. Between Karthik Shankar and uh, between, sorry, between Sai Sanjay and Alvin Deodar, it's a great battle as well, bro. And, and uh, Amal Kuti with one minute to go. This is such a great comeback drive. But up in front we have Vishnu Prasad now, 3.4 seconds, followed very closely by Karthik Tarni, uh, followed by Alvin Deodar, followed by Sai Sanjay, followed by. Uh, followed by Amit Kuti right now, Armani Prime in sixth place. That's great to watch because right now Sai Sanjay, I think, is just lining him up. We've got less than a minute of racing to go. We probably have this plus one more lap, and that is it. Racing for this, but this has been such an exciting race because it is so so close. Vishnu Prasad is now taken out, but I think 
Uh, yeah, Karthik Thani seems to have taken off, taken... Karthik Thani seems to have taken about a second out of him this lap. I think Vishnu might have made a mistake somewhere up the road. Uh, but we have him, we're on board right now with Ahmed Kuti. He's got three positions ahead of him. So if he can take these three guys in the next 30 seconds, he will finish in the uh, finish on the podium. But I don't think it's a possibility. But there we have it. We're on board right now with Vishnu Prasad. And he has, he looks like he's going to be, yeah. Uh, I think Vishnu Prasad right now. It looks like, yeah, Vishnu Prasad is right now in the lead, 2.4 seconds. I think Karthik Tani is taking quite a bit out of him, but there we have it. Amit Kuti seems to be coming back inside Sanjay. Very, very hard right now. With five seconds of racing to go. This is pretty much the last lap. Good luck will drop when they come around the front bend. But is Amit Kuti going to take him because this is so close? Amit Kuti goes on the inside. Oh, he takes them both off. Ahmed Kuti, that was an opportunistic move. But it takes off. Ahmed Kuti has taken off Sai Sanchai and it's going to move a couple of people back up a couple of places right now. I think he's given him back that place, but it does not matter. But as the checkered flag drops, Vishnu Prasad is down the lead. 1.3 seconds. I think how Vishnu Prasad is finished now. Kartik Tarni in second place. Things have gone to the pitch, but I think he's finished in second. Arthur Deodar now in. Oh, Arthur Deodar! has not been the leader. Something's gone on here, ladies and gentlemen. Because my timing screen is showing me Arthur Deodar has won the race. With Amit Kuti in second, Ron Shankar in third, Sai Sanjay in fourth place, Armal in fifth place. Uh, I wonder what's I wonder what's right, but as the race finishes, they're crashing each other. We're just going to wait for the official results to come my way. Uh, this has been what a race! This was so so close all the way to the end. Karthik Tani hustling, um, Vishnu Prasad all the way to the line because it was really really close. Uh, down, down the entire. Uh, this is so super close down the entire. Uh, down that, uh, uh, down the entire race. Uh, of course, we had a whole bunch of carnage and chaos. Amit Kuti had a couple of errors. Went down into eighth place. Was up into fourth place and then couldn't finish. But there we have it. There we go. This is the official kind of results. With Vishnu Prasad who takes it for Hyderabad. That's his first win. We've been waiting to see what this guy can do. And here we have him. We've Aditya said, don't count him out. We have not. And Vishnu Prasad takes race number two um, in Nola today. Advit Deodhar in second place. Another stellar, stellar drive. Karthik Tarni in third. Oh, Karthik was locked in a super battle out in front until he made that mistake. Into, it went to Amit, got taken out and had a little bit of an error. Came back in the third place. Armani Ibrahim finishing fourth place. Excellent for the old man. Rohan Shankar in fifth. I Sanjay, we thought would do a lot towards the end, uh, but did not. Amit Kuti now in seventh place, so he got taken out. Uh, I think he got taken out by got taken out by someone in the back. For sure, the stewards are going to be looking into that. Oshan Kotadia from the back of the grid in eighth place. Sorry, Vikash Arun in eighth place. Oshan Kotadia from the back of the grid in ninth place, and then Chetan Surneni rounds up our top ten. This is good. And Vika, of course, Vishwas Vijayaraj um, in eleventh place, and Sol Shah, who started third in the grid, is all the way. I think I have a feeling he didn't finish his race. He's finished all the way down in twelfth place at the moment. What an exciting race this has been so far. Ah, it has been a cracker to watch. Vishnu Prasad, race number two. Amit Kuti, race number one. There is now nothing going into the championships into tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Ultimate Ease Battle of the Cities. Uh, this is Ultimate Ease Battle of the Cities. That This is this is just uh, crazy. So I think uh, I have a feeling we're just getting word from the stewards as well. And I think Advit wins with Vishnu Prasad in second because has been on. Yeah, I think there has. Yep, I think there's been there has been a penalty that's been given. I think it's going to finish with yeah, that's going to finish with Advet Diodar is going to win. Vishnu Prasad is so sad. Unfortunately, this was so so sad. Advet wins. Vishnu Prasad second. Uh, I think Arman is second, but that is we're going to get official word in from the stars. But ladies and gentlemen, this has been this has been uh, ladies and gentlemen, this has been like the this, this has been the third round. Of the All Star Retro GP presented by Ultimate E Battle of the Series. We will be back tomorrow at 7 p.m. again. The last round in one of my favorite circuits, Sepang, in one of the most iconic cars, the McLaren MP413, and that will decide the championships. This is going to be an absolute cracker, and don't miss it. But coming up in half an hour on the Ultimate E channels across Twitch and YouTube, we have the GT Championships. Let's just see. I can't wait to watch. I can't wait for that. This is going to be a cracker to watch. Come, we have Patrick the Machine Blasen, the Williams Esports driver. We're going to be racing the uh, the Dallara cars, and we're going to be racing at Spa. Join us in 30 minutes, and I will be there with you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you shortly.